What's going on you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Just out here today doing some target practice, shooting some arrows. Uh, we are approaching 60 days from deer season and uh, can't wait for that. Always an exciting time of year. And just taking a little break right now and wanted to go over a couple releases that I've used over the years. Just a couple that I keep going back to. Um, just want to do a full disclosure here. This is not uh, you know, Ford versus Chevy, which one is best. It's just, I do a lot of research online, reading forums, watching videos, and I always like to get other people's opinions. And I just want to do kind of a high level rundown on each one of these releases that I keep coming back to a couple of my favorites. Uh, it's not going to dive into specifics on it, any specifications, anything like that. Uh, all that can be found online in the user manuals, things like that. So I'm just going to kind of give firsthand experience what I think about each one and just kind of throw it out there for you guys to look at, get your thoughts on it, and then hopefully be able to answer any questions you guys might have uh, by you guys commenting down below. And uh, I always try to get back to those questions as quickly as I can. Uh, the first one you guys are probably going to notice right off the bat and recognize this has got a pretty big name behind it because uh, Cam Haynes supports this release and that's what he uses. Uh, it's one of my favorites. This is the Spot Hog, the Wise Guy. And I've been using this release on and off for quite some time as well as this right here. This is a True Fire and this one is the Hardcore Buckle. Like I've mentioned, a couple of my favorites right here and just want to give you a some observations, some some things I like and dislike on each one. Uh, not too many dislikes on each one of these, which is why I keep coming back to these. But you'll notice both of these, the name on this one, um, of course, says it all, but this is a buckle release, so it's got your wrist strap right here. One thing I do like about the wrist strap is you're always gonna put it right back in the same spot. You can always tell by either marking it or after some time of use, it's gonna wear where you've been using it. So you always put it back in the same hole that way you always get the same same consistency on your lockup on your wrist and as you guys know it's all about being consistent on your anchor points one thing i really like about this is when you're in the tree stand and you're sitting there you know you might be fumbling with your phone you might get grunt calls out might get rattling horns you don't want this flopping around and banging off everything so this has got a nice little tension piece right here where you just simply take that and you fold it back and that stays out of your way you can have both hands free and clear and nothing flopping, getting in your way. So you just take that, you push it back out. And then one thing you'll notice here, I've got this locked down by an Allen head. Uh, turn that there, hopefully, hopefully that focuses. But there's an Allen head right here. You can notice this little barrel right here. Well, with that Allen head loosened, you can twist this and you get about an inch, maybe a little bit more of play to where you can screw that in, dial it in exactly where you want it to where it reaches your trigger finger just perfectly or whatever's comfortable with you. And then after twisting that and getting it where you want it, you just cinch down that Allen head right there and it stays in place. And one thing that I really like about the True Fire over the Spot Hog is these two sections up here, these two joints. So you'll see this right here will actually spin and then right here, I'm gonna take this off so I can show you a little bit better. But you'll see right here it spins. And then right here, it rotates. It kind of swings back and forth, I guess you would say, it pivots. So whenever this is on your wrist and you're drawing it back, this is always gonna kind of draw in line automatically. It's gonna, basically the best way to say it, it's gonna self-correct. So. If you're pulling off to the right or to the left, it's gonna adjust by doing this cant movement back and forth. And same thing with the swivel. It's always going to adjust or correct itself if you're making any mistakes. That way it's always right in line with the center part of your wrist, of your forearm. One thing I really like there about that. Both of these do have uh, fully adjustable triggers. Now I will say if you're a guy that likes a hair trigger, a uh, really light crisp trigger, uh, the wise guy is probably gonna be for you. Not to say that you can't get a hair trigger on this, but when we're splitting hairs and talking about hair triggers, uh, the wise guy does, does have the upper hand in that. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, I don't want this to be, you know, a Ford versus Chevy, what's best, what's wrong, don't use one, use the other. That's not what this video is for. I've had these releases for years and years, 
and that's why I haven't sold them just because I think they're a couple of the best uh, bow hunting deer hunting releases now you get into archery competition you know shootouts things like that you know you're gonna be talking about back tension thumb releases all that good stuff but this is strictly uh, a hunting channel and we're talking about um, you know deer hunting bow hunting so that's why I keep coming back to these but anyway that's just a quick high level overview of the true fire hardcore buckle and I'll put it back on here and kind of give you guys an idea show you real quick here just how the trigger works and how it resets but you get it on there and it's just got your typical uh, hook right there and that just goes on your D loop and then you know you get it you can just kind of see how light I can pull on this this one does have a little more creep or a little more travel than the wise guy which is why the wise guy has a much better um, hair trigger if that's what you're looking for but I like this one because of the adjustment here and the swivel back and forth like so and I also like it just because this trigger you can kind of notice here that it kind of swoops back and get this wise guy out you can kind of notice here that it kind of swoops swoops back just a little bit the wise guy get those kind of level there for you the wise guy is more flat I guess you would say and this one kind of fits my trigger finger a little bit better again it's all personal preference two great releases right here but I just want to compare the two just a little bit you can kind of notice the difference there in the hook styles a little bit different setup there but I want to point that out because this right here fits my trigger finger a lot better than the wise guy does but that's that on the true fire like I said I'm not getting into you know how light the triggers can go things like that no specifications just a, a quick rundown of what I've seen over the years. And now we'll take a look at the Wise Guy by Spot Hog. Same thing on this one. This one is a wrist strap or a buckle release. Um, same thing. You've got your holes in here. And then after time, it's going to show wear marks. So you make sure and strap this back to the exact same spot that you always have to once again get that correct anchor point. And I'll leave this off for now to show you a few things. This one here, same way, it does fold back and get out of your way. Uh, it doesn't lock into place quite as well as the True Fire, but I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, it does flop around just a little bit more, but once, once again, it's not like you're making sudden movements and jerking around up in the stand. Um, here on the adjustment part for the length, length of pull, whatever you want to call it, relation to where you get it out there closer to your trigger finger, Right here, it's a little bit different. Once again, it's an Allen screw, but there's no twisting. It's just got these grooves. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that very well. The camera focuses there. It's got these grooves where you just kind of slide it in and out, get it in place wherever you think it's best, and then you cinch down that Allen screw. So just a little bit different. You don't twist it like you do on the True Fire. Uh, once again, like I mentioned earlier, this one does have a much crisper uh, hair trigger. That's what you want to call it. I personally like the trigger a little bit better on the True Fire, just because it does have a little bit of creep on it. And that's just my preference. So pretty much the same thing. You get this locked in where you always have, get that correct length of pull, and then make sure and get the length right here adjusted. So you get it comfortable. You don't want to be reaching too far back for your trigger finger or you don't want to be scrambling and you know reach them way up to try to get that um, trigger right there hit so you want to get it in a good spot where it's comfortable with you you can see here mine's kind of just kind of straight down and it'll be a little bit further out whenever i get this hooked up to the bow but once again right here's your allen head on the wise guy and that's where you adjust the uh, sensitivity on your trigger you know to get it that nice crisp break and I've got this set up definitely not on the lightest pull uh, I like to get a little bit right there and then just squeeze just barely and you always want that pull that break to surprise yourself you don't want to ever anticipate it you want to surprise yourself so all in all very I guess you would say similar releases um, for me personal preference I pick and keep going back to the true fire um, and I think the main thing, the main reason that I do is it fits me a little bit better as far as comfort wise. Uh, 
the main thing being that trigger and also another thing that i really like are these two pivot points the twist feature here and then that pivot section just keeps everything in line a lot better uh, they do make the wise guy i think they call it the nylon which the strap's different it's nylon so this isn't as rigid but i know for sure that one doesn't lock back like this it just kind of flops around but it does keep it much more loose to where everything's more in line but i just like the adjustment capabilities on this the trigger is probably the biggest thing for me just that angle i know there's some videos online i've seen several people do it where they actually bend this and kind of swoop it back just a little bit like the true fire that's perfectly fine you can do that as well i would hate to see you uh, break or snap that off so make sure and be careful if you do that but like i say guys this these are both great i'm never going to sell each one of either one of these uh, started out with this one years and years ago saw a lot of hype on this so i bought this have used both a ton um, but i feel like i keep coming back to the true fire over and over i'll make sure and link these down below you guys can check those out there pretty awesome stuff and if you guys have any questions make sure and comment down below and i'll be happy to try to answer any of those questions you might have and happy hunting be safe we'll see you on the next one see ya bye